Yo, what's up guys? That's Nile, aka NYL. And I just want to talk about how rushing in CS2 is a little bit different than in CSGO. You probably noticed this already that rushing isn't as easy to do, nor is it as successful as it once was in CSGO. And I think that's because of a couple of reasons. Mainly it has to do with the way grenades interact with each other in this game. So what you have to notice is in CS, there's typically one bomb site that's very easy to rush, usually your B bomb site. And that's mainly because it has either one or two easy to rush choke points that don't, uh, don't leave you exposed to a lot of areas when you're trying to take them and you don't have to clear as much. So for example, we take overpass right now, B bomb site is pretty easy to rush, especially if you go straight through monster because, I mean, there's only one place where the CTs can re realistically be if you rush right from beginning of spawn. They're not even gonna be up in this corner. All you have to worry about is coming in and looking at this side of the map. Now, this is the same for most maps on the B bomb site. There's even maps where you don't have to go through a mid at all to take uh, the B bomb site, like an in Inferno. You literally just rush through banana and then go straight onto the site, you smoke off CT and you don't really have to fight much. So these bomb sites are easy to rush, but as soon as you get Imali in your face, the whole rush stops in this game. In, CS2, in CSGO, you just throw a smoke grenade and that will be the end of it. But in CS2, because of the way smokes extinguish Molotovs, get that because they have to you know, bounce one or two times, it doesn't work out the same way. So like, for example, a typical monster rush in overpass normally just involves you coming straight from spawn all the way down to monster. And once this molly is thrown, you throw a smoke, you go through it, and you come out and get some kills. But in CS2, this doesn't work the same way as in CSGO because of just this tiny difference between the way smokes actually extinguish the Molotovs in this game. So if you notice in this game, there's like a couple of bounces for the smoke grenades before they actually end up extinguishing the Molotovs. So you see that right there? In CSGO, that would have been absolutely instant. You would have just thrown a smoke down and run through and you wouldn't take any damage pretty much from a Molotov. But in this game, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to throw that molly again and I'm going to turn off the health regen. And you're going to see that I'm still going to take a little bit of damage when I try and do this monster rush. So we'll go from spawn just like a typical monster rush. And I just want you guys to look at this. So that comes down. And that didn't even work because the molly didn't get completely extinguished. So I'm gonna do that rush again. And I want you guys to just look at how much damage I take, even if it goes actually perfect for me. Okay, damn, that went perfect for me. <laughs> you can't do it every time. So as you can see, I actually ended up taking damage because the molly wasn't completely extinguished. Now, even if I did that while throwing the smoke a little bit further ahead to make sure that it gets extinguished, I'm gonna end up taking a decent bit of damage. And you might not think that this damage does much, but it actually really changes the way not only you push through a smoke, but also your team. So one thing you have to pay attention to is that whether you're the entry frag or not, pushing through a Molotov is never a good idea. And your teammates who are coming behind you as an entry fragger are definitely not gonna be happy to go through a Molotov with you. So we're gonna go through this. And there, you can see I extinguished that pretty efficiently, but I still ended up taking a decent bit of damage. Now, if that was a regular engagement that you take over here in CS2, you would be down probably like a bullet or two for um, a CT trying to kill you. 
they kill you in a bullet or two less than what's needed for a full HP target. In CSGO, you would pretty much come through that with full HP. And so that just illustrates the difference between the types of rushes you can execute in CS2 versus in CSGO. So like I was saying, in CS2, Molotovs don't get in instantly extinguished in this game. You see that there's a couple bounces and a little bit of time delay before that molly is actually extinguished by a smoke. And in a rush, this is a key thing because you don't want to take damage. Your team doesn't want to take damage. And if there's a Molotov in front of you guys, it's going to easily separate you two. You as the entry frag might still push in, but your team isn't going to want to push through that smoke, even if you're the one taking most of the damage. So right there, I just took 30 damage. Granted, I don't have armor, but I still took about a whole bullet's worth of damage. Now that's going to decrease your chances in a gunfight significantly. And not only that, but you are having to push through a smoke, which is incredibly difficult in this game when you compare it to CSGO. And that's because of the sort of difference between smoke grenades in this game. In this game, smoke grenades have this volumetric effect that makes them fill up an entire area. And they're actually even bigger than in CSGO. So that means your team is gonna be lost in the smoke for a longer amount of time. And that kind of makes you lose your way inside of smoke in this game. So that's why most people don't even rush through smokes in this game anymore. It's because you actually end up being lost a lot easier inside a smoke grenade. Now your team isn't gonna wanna rush through that molly. It's not, they're not gonna wanna rush through a smoke. So you doing that Hail Mary play is kind of a death sentence once there's a Molotov on the ground. So that's the main reason why I think it's a lot more difficult to rush bomb sites in CS2. That's because all of these interactions with the grenades make it a lot more difficult to push out in an aggressive manner. If you have to push through a smoke and fight on the edge of a smoke, you're at a much bigger disadvantage than some CT that's just waiting there on the other side, watching you through the smoke. As soon as they shoot you, they're gonna see your outline and you're gonna be taking damage. Meanwhile, you have to be going through the difficulty of, you know, finding the right position to actually even see out of the smoke because it's very random. And on top of that, you might not even be coming out of the smoke where you thought you were. Pushing through a smoke is, it takes a while, honestly, in this game. It's not the same as in CSGO. Now, on top of that, your team is going to be really hesitant to push through a smoke. I've, I've already shown some examples of the Molotov not getting properly extinguished by a smoke. And if that happens, you can guarantee that your team is not going to want to push out and come through with you. They're not going to want to take that damage. And often enough, people don't even buy another smoke to actually extinguish the Molotov. So you might be the only one with the smoke, you throw your smoke down, you come out, you go in, you die, and then you see your team just waiting in the back and you're just thinking to yourself, damn, what, what's going on? Why is nobody with me? Why, why did everyone pussy out? You know, like that, that tends to happen a lot in this game. So I wanted to showcase this issue on Mirage as well, because this is one of the maps that I used to love rushing on CSGO but I find that it's a lot more difficult to do so in CS2. And that's mainly because when this Molotov is thrown in CS2, it actually covers a really big area. Like you can see there's a burn from all the way over here to the back of the staircase in, in apps. Now that Molotov is really problematic when you're rushing in as a team because you come in, the Molotov's already down, and it is really difficult to extinguish that Molotov perfectly on the fly. Like most of the time, you are either going to throw it, take a lot of damage, throw it, and it's still not going to be completely extinguished. Or sometimes you might even completely miss the smoke. And that happens way more often than you think in pugs. And I think that that kind of has killed the rush meta in this map particularly. So I'm going to try and do that rush again, and I'm going to try and extinguish the Molotov. But you're going to see that even when it's completely extinguished, 
I end up taking 40 damage. Now this varies a lot depending on how efficient your smoke actually clears the Molotov, but regardless, you're still going to end up taking damage when you push through apps in this game. Even when somebody is behind you and throwing that smoke, their smoke is gonna take a little bit of time before it blooms, and then you're gonna be rushing through that as an entry and you're still gonna take damage. So most people, who aren't you know heavy on the entry style or entry play style are gonna end up shying away from entering bomb sites through mollies and all of that. And rush has just become really ineffective in this game. If you are going to rush, it's important to make sure that your team is on the same page as you and they're gonna rush through a potential Molotov even if they have to take a little bit of damage. That's easier said than done because most of the time people in pubs will say, sure, we'll rush. And then when the Molotov comes, you know, all of a sudden everyone's backed up in apps and you're the only one entering on the site. Now, this video is already getting kind of long. So let me know if you guys want to see another video where I actually talk about what you can do to make your rush better and what you can do to counteract these anti-rush play styles from the CTs. I love to entry frag and I love just coming in off a of pop flash and getting one or two kills before getting traded. But, you know, I've noticed that it's a lot more difficult to do that in this game. But I still do want to do that and keep that type of play style. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to, you know, follow my steps and, you know, just keep dying as you entry. But yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and see you guys on the next one.